Hey folks, it's Ben. We're here with another real mower video because I have another yard sale find. This one happens to be an Easy Tools. It's an 18 inch real mower. Digging up online, I didn't find anything about it. So I can't really say, oh, it's made by this or done by that. I can say that it's not a great state, which is the ones I'm usually working with. And I can tell you that by a couple things. Uh, number one, well, the only reason is, well, it has a cool, that's not the reason, but the actual reason is it's got a spring uh, Titan blade. So that's something that the great states units don't typically have. You have two bolts that pivot to align your blade to the reel here. This one actually has a spring mechanism. So we'll dig into that in just a little bit. Let's go uh, over some of the features of this mower compared to others. When looking at this mower for at the yard sale, and I scored this one for $25. So that was pretty cool because it has this bagger, which um, I don't think I've actually owned a real mower with a bagger before, so that's pretty cool and that's a neat feature. Especially like I have chickens, so I can catch these clippings, put them in with the chickens, really easy. Uh, but uh, it looks like we have a five real mower, so that's good. That's a high quality part. Uh, the biggest thing, you know, as I looked at this thing was that it's kind of dry, so it's really squeaky. And there are places where the reel is not hitting at all, like there should be rub there. Like where there's connecting here, there's nothing, so it's not going to cut worth the poop there. And then there are places where it hits pretty bad and is squeaky. So we're gonna have to review that a little bit. And I think that just might be a side that's loose. Uh, but there's no big chips in the blade. And the, like the easiest way to look at that is to flip it over. The blade itself is actually in fairly good shape. The owner said that she'd use it for a couple years on her fairly suburban lawn, so no big deal. And there's no big rust or chipping uh, along the real blades as well. They're they're also pretty good. So it's a very good candidate for just an adjustment some lubrication To go but we're gonna go ahead and go that extra step in this video We're gonna sharpen it just so when we sell it I'll be like hey, it's a freshly sharpened blade and that always helps move sales along as well uh, Ooh, Everything sounds so dry in this thing. So we'll pop the wheels off take a look at the drivetrain We're gonna need to to sharpen it anyway. We'll get the blade adjusted and uh, yeah, it doesn't really need paint. It's faded, so it's been in the sun for quite a while. But other than that, I think it's a real good mower, so let's get to work. So to work on it, we got to open it up here. So we'll take the bagger off. And honestly, this is going on to my other real mower because this is cool. <laughs> uh, I won't sell it with the bag. And it just has a clip that clips to the crossbar here. And it hangs off this axle, which not all of them have. Now this is an 18 inch model, so that's 18 inches wide. So my like Scott's Classic 20, it tends to bias grass on the other side, so it'll be fine. It'll look sharp and stuff like that. And then this mower is actually missing its eclipse here. There's a, a clip should go here and a clip should go here, but the springiness of the handle out uh, causes it to be fine. So we'll, uh, I'll try to pot this up again and pop this thing off. So let's pop this off by squeeze it together. And when one's free, the other one just comes off. And the handle is in great shape, so we won't even touch that at all. It's good. There should be, these should be hubcaps. And these rear wheels are really dry too, so let's lubricate those as well. Much better on that. Looks like we can pop that off with a screwdriver. Uh, Yeah, they're quite long and they're just square pushed in. So that's kind of neat. Uh, then we have our E-clip, that hasn't changed. Pop it off. Then this has a washer, so that's cool. And then our wheel should pop off. And uh, no damage. It's actually fairly good shape. Quite a bit of dryness on that uh, shaft there. My guess is this has never been looked at, looked after. This should come off too. Really good condition. Not a lot of wear, so that's fantastic. And then this little Radley guy here really needs some lubrication. But it too isn't, it's not in bad shape. It's in pretty good, pretty good shape. So we're we really scored here. Can't turn the bearing yet because the wheel's in the way, but let's pop off the other side and take a look at it. It's really dry too. And I'll put like a 30 weight oil on that. That would help it out too. No chips, damages, or chunks of anything. So that's great. Little cobwebs, but nobody cares about those. Paul's good. It's all good here. Could use some cleaning. You can see there's some dirt 
where it's just been in a bad environment. It's really been slippery. It's been going back and forth quite a bit. So this one's a little bit more used on this side, it seems, which is weird because they're both the same real stool. Now I'm not exactly familiar with how this blade setup goes, but it seems like we've got probably a hinge bolt here, and then we have this flat one here, which maybe that's the hinge. If we loosen this guy and we let this one relax, we should be able to move this back a little bit. So uh, do I have to release the hinge? Maybe. It doesn't have a head on it, but let's see if we loosen it. There we go. So our reel is really happy. What I'm looking for is play. Like, can I move it in any direction, up or down, left or right? And I can't, but it does spin nice. Now, not everyone loves WD-40, but it's what I have. And probably as good as this, we'll see. Wow, that is just a great reel. So that's positive. So that's fantastic news actually. And that probably gets us to the point where we can uh, figure out how this blade goes on. So we've got some, yeah, this whole thing moves around a little bit. That's interesting. So I'm guessing, I don't know. I guess these could be tight and then this just puts pressure on that. And if I tighten it up, it pulls it back and makes it tighter. So if I tighten this, it starts touching a little bit. Move it forward to half a turn. Let's do the same over here. Tighten it so it touches. It'll get worse. She's a little loose in the middle, so when we sharpen it, what we're going to do is give her a tighten here by, let's say, a quarter turn, and a quarter turn. So now our reel's too tight for sure. That's when we're going to put our paste on here and uh, do our rotation for our seven minutes of uh, burning, and hopefully that'll square up everything. We'll be able to come back and see how we're doing. So. Uh, I'll do a time lapse for that, but let me show you the kit again because I got it over here. I've seen it in a bunch of videos now, but I have a this is a push rule lawnmower sharpening kit. Lawnmower is manufactured by Great States and the American Lawnmower Company only. So it could be one of those. Uh, it comes with your compound, which will be dry again. Nope, it's really wet. Perfect. Uh, a brush, and then it comes with this handy handle. If you don't have a drill that will fit over the the reel, this one's gonna be a tough turner, so uh, we'll probably wanna handle it anyway, and I usually get a piece of fabric and go. And we're just gonna go ahead and slobber this on all the, the reel blades, and we'll run her backwards, because that's how you sharpen them. And uh, we'll give it seven minutes, and I'll see you in the 30 second montage. Well, that was a process. Um, how, why I do it in stages is I take uh, my grit and I apply it to the reel and then you run it and it's really rough going at first and then it smooths out and becomes easy. And once it becomes easy, then you stop, re-grit it, do it again. So I did it about five times. So it was about five minutes, but this blade isn't crazy out of whack either, right? Like it was mostly cutting. So uh, to make sure I don't have to do it more, however, I'm gonna wipe this blade down and the blades on the reel here, and then we're gonna give it a test and see how we're doing, because maybe we're good to go. It's a little clunky, which means it might be a little tight. 
Yeah. Something right there in the center. Yeah, that's not great right there. That end reel is catching the hair. So I'll have to back it off a of hair. And loosen it. That's cool. Probably why they want you to go backwards when you do sharpen it. Probably just gonna go with the hose and rinse this off. I'll be right back, be a lot quicker. Now the oil I have here is not three in one, although I would recommend the three in one. The electrical motor one, because it's a conventional oil, not a, a vegetable based one. Uh, this is actually a 10W30 oil with a little bit of Lucas in it. Gives it that stickiness that uh, is nice to have. And I definitely want to, you definitely want to oil the wheel for sure. And then for the paw, I think I borrowed one off this side. Drive my little screw. You don't want to. You don't want to do much. This thing needs to. This thing is dirty, actually. It's actually worn. Uh, you don't want to get it sticky, right? You want it to catch and not catch. So WD-40 might be fine in this little hole where the pawl goes, but where it rides, you want to put a drop of oil there and just there. Now remember, it's got that curved edge that goes along the curved edge of the gear here, right? So it catches square to square. So this one, if it's on the, uh, it's on the wrong side, <laughs> let's just switch over. Let's clean this one up. So it should be able to bite the reel, which is tight, and go backwards easy. So it's a nice ratcheting. And the wheel were to go forward, well, we've we'll, got to get that lubricated, so we can just put this on. So if we push it forward, see the rolls backwards fine, it's still clicky, but we'll bite the reel forward. So that's exactly the way we want it. And now with lubrication, that wheel's going to be super happy. A little more, just to make everyone happy. Washer, plink, e-clip, plink and hammer, these pliers are just snip on. That is good. I'm leave the hubcap off for now. Do the other side. What about you guys with me, but I actually just put it on the floor and pushed it and she's loud, squeaky, and hard to push. So let's back it up some. Now with wheels though, she flips easy. Um, so let's back off our slider hair. So we need to loosen this guy a little bit. We're not going to go crazy. That's the one that's up in the middle here. And that releases the slide, so our blade can move now. Everything we do, we want to do it balanced, right? And the height doesn't have to be right there. It's actually set really low. Now it's a little bit better. We want to release it some, so we want to loosen the eighth of a turn. Maybe not even that, maybe just five minutes. Better. She'll roll on the table a little bit. Still tight though. Let's back it up another five minutes. How we're we doing now? Still tight. How are we doing cutting wise? Cutting. Not so good on that side. So we need to loosen this side. Lost a little bit on this side. Let's do another backup on this one. That was a big move. 
Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Probably all the whole video you probably have. Paper in between the blade and the reel. Cuts the piece off. Cuts the piece off. Eh. Cuts the piece off on that one. Missed that one. Missed that one. We need to go ahead. Ugh tighter on this side, but we've got our center back, and that's really what I was hopeful for. Let's just do a boop of a turn, flip it over. How are we cutting now? Oh yeah, that's back, that's back, that's back. How do we push? And we're now pushing. Oh yeah. That's better. Can we go a little looser? That's the question, right? We can go too tight. Let's back it off 10 minutes. Loosen, make sure we're loosening. Down to three. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting really loose. So cutting is a question. Still cut there. Lost a little bit in the center. This side loose again. It really doesn't like to move. Let's tighten this one. Maybe we loosen this one a hair. Let's try that again. Another 10 minutes. Might bring this other side around. Still cutting. Still cutting. Still not cutting. So let's back it up more. So we can get that blade to fall away a little bit. That might bring this side up and we just might be in it. So let's go another five minutes. I think we had this issue before and we made it not loose. That's a cut. That's a cut. So we still got the center. Still not good over here. Let's tighten it. Because now we're getting to really loud though geez let's get some lubrication on that the one thing and the one thing i hope to show everyone and on my scott's classic is the blades love lubrication don't be worried to get these things wet real mowers are oily little beasts and see that makes everything spin nice see we don't have to mess with that that's awesome Let's just flip her over. If we can cinch down this sharpness, like we're, yeah. We're a little loose there. And loose there. And the nice thing about grass clippings is that they tend to lubricate the blades as they go. Let's tighten you some. So let's go with like a 10 minute. That was more than that. How are we doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 Nice. We're still easy to push? Yes. So let's tighten these down again in the middle. Let's go with tightening this time. <laughs> Get on there, you. There you go. Ah, tight. Locks are in, in our settings, hopefully. One final paper test, just to make sure we didn't change anything around. Yep, yep. Little me. Not so fast there, Chum, slow it down. A little not great there. Really great there, so we lost, the, oh, no, she's good on those reels, so. Can I that back? <laughs> So we're just a little light in the center, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, she's good there again, so I think we're cool. So she's all tightened down. She's not gross to push, especially by hand. Now I'll take you outside and we'll wrap her up here. She's all the greasy. Could you stop rolling back? That'd be great. Oh, 
Time to go. Here we are in the great outdoors. The Easy Tools 18 inch non grass catching unit now, right? Wink, wink. And uh, I don't have any grass that's high enough to mow. <laughs> Let's crank her right to the dirt. Ugh, that's where she was. Put her right down there. It's, uh, there's some grass over here we can hit. Fantastic. So, easy tools, different type of mower than the Great States. So that was cool. That's how I tune up a, uh, a real mower from a yard sale. I'll flip it on to some auction site and uh, hopefully make a couple bucks on it. And you guys will enjoy the cool video. If you have any questions, ask them. If you have any comments, leave them too. And please subscribe to my channel, Turbo 231, for more exciting, awesome videos. Ford probes coming up, cool stuff like that. Anyway, you guys uh, have a good day.